hello libra there is a strong aquarius and a strong aries in your energy um some of this is the energy of doing what needs to be done okay this is they're creating this energy of fire okay and somebody is doing what needs to be done whether this is anger creating passion they're creating some type of rebirth, death and rebirth with doing what needs to be done. So there's a person that's taking some type of active role when it comes to you. All right. Uh, I feel like there's an Aquarius that knows something. Aquarius knows something. It's something about what they know. Okay. What they know is very, very key. Um, and there's the there's an Aries that you're figuring figuring out who they are. It's it's something about who an Aries is, okay? But they're doing it's doing what needs to be done. Something needs to be done, okay? All right, I'm gonna tap into this Aquarius energy. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> so there is. Either some type of moving on, moving forward, uh, moving away, movement that Aquarius know something needs to be done. They know that there's a need for things to move in a more calmer space. So there could be an Aquarius that's about keeping the peace right now, that's focused on keeping some type of peace and focus on keeping things in a peaceful manner. Yeah, you do have hand in hand agreement. So I do feel like that there is some type of agreement that the Aquarius made to keep the peace with someone, keep the peace with you, do things peaceful, do things calm, do things in harmony, like things are being done the right way. And Aquarius know that there's a there is a right way to do something. There's definitely a right way to do something. Let's see. Let's see what's coming up in the Kipper. The Aquarius is making an agreement. Or the Aquarius knows the agreement. Knows that this agreement needs to be done. Or this something needs to be done for the greater good. You have imprisonment here. Alright. Imprisonment here. Hmm. So there is some type of sense of stuck, stagnant, but I feel like there's an Aquarius that's enduring. Okay, so I do, why do I feel like that there's an Aquarius that is like not doing what it is that they want or not doing, not saying something to keep the peace? They could be trying to keep a part of themselves. The universe is fighting. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there's a Aquarius that's trying to keep them themselves. Like, why did I, when I seen the lockup, the imprisonment card, I'm like, someone is trying to tame the beast or tame their beast because they, they're trying to do something for the greater good. Like, they know that something, this is the right way of doing things, and this is what needs to be done. So they could be locking up their true feelings. But this is more so of self-control. This is a sacrifice. And it's like the universe is fighting because there is some type of force that could be pulling you together if this is a love message. What's crossing this? I feel like, oh, 
and you have the the eight of swords there's an, there's an Aquarius that's about to self-sabotage themselves they're about to sacri sacrifice and then sacrificing they sabotage something that they really want um I do feel like that they do have they have this hope though um they have this type of hope they're hoping for something or they're hoping for for things to get better they feel like that this they hope that this will work after sacrificing themselves after like holding themselves back for from something or from someone they hope that this is definitely going to work for them it's like out of all of that the universe is still like pulling somebody pulling someone all right let's see about this aries what is this aries all right so this one is to turn right upside down okay So there's an Aries that is moving. There's something that a, a Aries, they are doing. They're currently doing, okay? Um, they Someone is doing what needs to be done. And this is all in the sense of committing, committing to something, all right? Um, making something stable, making some type of solid commitments, ready for commitments. There's a person who's not hanging around anymore. They're making some type of choice, all right? Um, they're having some type of movement. They're not up in the air. They're ready to walk with their decisions, say their decisions, things like that. All right. Yeah, you have this sun, happiness, popularity. Um, there's a change. There could be some type of shock or something with this Aries going on. Um, this Aries is coming with this big, bold energy, of course, of course, but it's coming with this really, really big, there's an Aries that's, they're happy, they're big, they're popular, like they're doing what needs to be done. They could be feeling themselves a lot. Someone is coming with so, like, a lot of fire, all right? Okay, so there's some type of expectations, okay? So there's an Aries that is expecting some type of money, okay? Someone is acting really, really big, bigger than life. They're doing what needs to be done. I feel like that they're putting the energy out there. They're out there. They're becoming what they want. They're becoming the energy that they want to see. And they have this really, really big energy. Also, it's these ideas. There's an Aries that's putting these ideas out there. They have these brilliant ideas. So, they're expecting this income. They're expecting something to be very, very valuable to them. Not expecting to lose. Um, I don't understand what this connection really is. I feel like there's a person who's showing up as really, really bold and really, really big and confident. But there's a person who is. Also, there could be a person who's boldly moving away from something. Boldly moving away from something. Like, but boldly moving on from something. There could also be someone who's like split between the two like in one sense they're moving really really humble lovingly peacefully then in another sense they like showing showing off okay <laughs> they're showing something else all right i feel like that there is some type of connection that a person doesn't really know what the connection is but there is a lot of fire. There is a lot of chemistry. There is a, there is a lot of passion when it comes to a relationship, even though a person doesn't really know what it is. And I feel like a person is moving. They're not doing a lot of thinking. They could just be moving off of what it is that they're feeling and off of the fact that they're just, they're happy. All right. You do have the queen of swords coming up. This is you. I do feel like you could be definitely connected with an Aries or this could definitely be mirroring your energy I feel like um 
you have this knowing where this person doesn't really, really know where you stand. Um, you have this king of swords at the bottom of the deck too. Both parties know, so you know. So I feel like both people know. You know and this other person knows. And they're expecting something to be, to be valuable. They're expecting something to be really, really stable. They're not expecting something not to be stable. All right, let's see this fire. What is this fire coming between these two? This fire here with this Aquarius and this Aries. Big, big energy. This fire is love, of course. Of course, love will be coming through right now. Love, commitment. There's a person who feels like the best thing that they could do is not commit. And there's a person who feels like this is they're committing, but they don't know why. They haven't tapped into why it's just this feeling. They feel like that they have to be next to you. It's like both people are doing what needs to be done in the name of love. Okay. Um both signs and this could also you, you can also have a fire sign a Sagittarius or a Leo as well too um, but the signs that comes up big heavy energy from an Aquarius or an Aries um, both people are doing what they need to do out of love so this could have something to do with the bond Aquarius is all thinking about the bond the agreement the handshake being fair being peaceful um, taming the beast inside of them like fighting against what's not true like everything in the universe is calling this aquarius to you but something is telling them not now everything in the universe is telling this aries that they have they don't understand they don't have too much clarity but their body everything is calling them to you they can't help themselves so it's it's just everybody's acting out of love all right let's see what else do we have Okay, so you got the wolf. I mean, not the wolf, the dog. True friends. Everybody is trying to think about the heart signifies joy. True love, true friends, true love. Even though the Aries is more of like an outside outer, there's still this true love. The, the, these are these raw feelings that they're doing things they don't really know. They don't have enough information. They don't have enough. They're expecting things to be... They're moving off of this, their um, feelings, not feelings. Yeah, feelings. They're moving off their feelings. They don't have any really type of knowing, okay? And this is like who a person is. This is how a person moves. There's Aquarius has this more deeper knowing, okay? There's Aquari this Aquarius, this person with this Aquarius energy. And this is heavy Aquarius energy. It could be in their sun, moon, or rising Heavy Aries energy, sun, moon, or rising, or fire, and sun, moon, or rising. They feel like that this is what has to happen. All right, let's see what else we have. This fire energy. main male poverty has been saying someone has some type of lack thoughts but there's a main male there is a divine masculine here that is coming up um and this person this is showing you the loyalty or showing you how much a person really really loves you And this is creating a lot of different sparks of passion, a lot of different things. Um, definitely a male's energy, a relationship, fiery bond that's happening here. A really, really like a, a karmic connection could be too. Um, 
Definitely, somebody thinks the best thing that they can do for both people is miss out on a certain type of love. I do also feel like there could be a Aquarius tapping into their fire sides too and not knowing, not understanding, but still going at it. What is this fire? <laughs> I hope the future will bring us together. That's that hope right there. All right, so this is what needs to be done. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. So that is what the, the Aquarius is, is. The Aquarius energy is really, really strong. Really, really strong. Um... Now, this Aries, this could be taking your energy, uh, Libra. This could be your shadow. This is your shadow energy. So, this could be like, you know, you are ready. You are expecting. You could be expecting something from an Aquarius. Um, this Aquarius is hoping that the future, I feel like there's something going on with right now. But the Aquarius is hoping that, hoping that in the future things would be better. Or a bomb will bring you guys together. But just right now, they feel like that they have to lock themselves up or something. And they could be making this one last, last wish, one last prayer. Let's see. All right, yeah, tower. False foundation. Something needs to be done in order to crack this false foundation down. So something needs to happen, this tower. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of false relationship, faulty foundation that happened between you and a person. This could be the Aries or the Aquarius. Um, and there's something needs to be done. And it's, it's these bold energies that's coming up. And it's all in the name of love. Okay, I'm going to leave the reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.